Hey, in case you haven't heard, Facebook is on a big timeout. Yes, business owners all over the world are putting Facebook on timeout. Bad Facebook, bad Facebook. Well, today we're gonna talk all about it. You're gonna learn what's, what's going on, what caused it, what started it, where it's going, and what kind of change that it's gonna bring for you and for the world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into it. What's up everybody, my name is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. If you don't know, Facebook's in some trouble and all kinds of businesses, over 100 businesses have put Facebook on timeout. Yes, they have hit the pause button on all of their campaigns and they have decided to wait and see how Facebook responds. So let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you a little bit of a backstory of how it all is going down. And as you know, Facebook is a massive platform with over 2 billion daily active users. Their influence and their reach to share information has been growing year after year after year. And with that reach and with that information comes a responsibility, right? They are a business. And even though free speech is very, very important, it's important that the, the information that's on their platform is as accurate as possible. I truly believe that. And obviously it's time for change. And so now businesses around the world are grouping together for that change. So what happened is Facebook has allowed, they didn't, let, they didn't allow them openly, but they didn't set anything up in place in the beginning. They have allowed white supremacist groups and hate groups to use the platform to grow their audiences, to grow their reach, and to profit from Facebook. And so now, because of that, people are fed up, they're tired because of the movement of the Black Lives, Ladder, uh, Black Lives Matter movement and all the things that are happening. They are now cutting off these white supremacist groups. But it wasn't until over 100 companies, and I'll just name a few of them, Unilever, Starbucks, GSMP, which is Goodby, Silverstein and Partners, one of my favorite advertising agencies, Honda, Levi, Patagonia, tons of companies have banded together and they have joined up with a group led by the NAACP, Colors for Change, and they've actually created a campaign called Stop Hate for Profit. And this Stop Hate for Profit campaign is going to allow hopefully not just Facebook, but Instagram and other platforms to start to utilize and, and inspect the information that's been put on the platform. And so as we know, there was a lot of scandals revolving around Facebook and their misinformation and the fake news. So Facebook started implementing some of these things over the last few months during COVID saying, hey, this is inaccurate and that's accurate. And basically starting to out some of the things that are inaccurate on their platform. Whether all of that's true or not, I don't know, but the information that they gather and the research that they do, they're putting on there if it's inaccurate or not. They have a responsibility and they're starting to step up a little bit to the plate, but now this is the next step along the journey is them to take accountability, right? It's important that if you're going to have that kind of exposure, that kind of, that kind of reach, and that kind of um, impression on society and culture, that you actually do right by those people. This is a platform that is very powerful, and if it's used incorrectly, which it has been, it is very dangerous. That is why Mark Benioff, the CEO of eBay, and I believe he's also affiliated now with, uh, he's also uh, Salesforce, has called Facebook the cigarettes of social media. And so it's time for these guys to start taking accountability, and I believe this is a great move for businesses or for Facebook to start making some change and start getting rid of some of the negativity and some of the hate. And so what they did is they actually removed 250 white supremacist groups off. They banned them from the platform, no longer allowed. Big win, I wanna throw like confetti and stuff in the air. That's a really, really great thing. There should be more love, less hate. I just believe that as a person and society, we need more of that. So Facebook has a responsibility to take responsibility and to do something about it, especially since it's their platform and they have control. Now, the last piece of this is the business owners, the small to medium-sized business owners. If you don't know, like I said in the beginning, this costs Facebook $7 billion. And if you wanna impact a business like Facebook, you gotta hit them where it really hurts. You gotta hit them in the wallet. And so $7 billion is a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, $70 billion, which is the, what they did last year in revenue on Facebook ads is huge, right? I think $95 million was just Starbucks alone. And there was like another 24 million, which is a company called Diageo, that's uh, based out of London, that also spent a significant amount of money. But 76% of Facebook's revenue comes from small and medium-sized businesses. That's businesses like you and I. 
Are you going to stop spending money on Facebook? If you are, drop a comment, let me know. Are you going to hit pause on your campaigns? Are you going to keep rolling? Now that these big boys have jumped out and hit pause on their campaigns, is this an opportunity to seize? You know, when they jump out, is this a great deal now? Are Facebook price is going to go down for the ads? Who knows? I haven't been able to find anything that confirms that, that says they're gonna go up or go down or anything. So right now, I'm just gonna assume and say that they're gonna stay the same. If they go up, we'll find out and we'll be able to post something about it. So this is very, very important. I think you guys needed to know this information. This is a critical part of what's happening online, on the web. A lot of people's businesses depend on Facebook ads and I know my business does as well, my clients' businesses, and we're gonna keep rolling. I'm glad that Facebook's making some changes and making some improvements and so should you. So that wraps up today's video. I'm just grateful for you guys that are with me. Make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe button and drop a comment, introduce yourself. If this is your first video that you're watching, I'm excited that you're here. I'm proud of you for doing something because this is a channel where we make change. So thank you guys so much for watching today. God bless you and always, as always, keep looking up.